Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. I am back and today we are making mokimo, a Kenyan staple meal. And to our ingredients, we will have, we have some green maize here, which we will uh, remove from the maize cob. Um, they are fresh, you can use yellow corn here. We have green peas, they are uncooked. We have onions. You can use one big one. The heart of this meal, we have the Irish potatoes. You can use as much as you want. And our last ingredient is kahorora. Another name is the pumpkin leaves that are very tender and green. So what we'll do is remove the maize from the cob. We'll wash and chop our onions. Wash and chop our, our potatoes and also cut our kahorora. Or the tender pumpkin leaves so here we go we have chopped our potatoes our onions right here I have my corn silk we have removed this from the corn this corn silk you can make a tea it is very good for the kidney it turns the kidney and the nephrons of the kidney so you can use it as a tea and of course, you'll need a few sufurias. I'm having one here, but um, I'll be using different ones. So we'll begin by putting salt, a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter cup of water in a sufuria. And I'll cover this and bring to a boil. So once this has boiled, pour in your green peas and your maize. The ratio of your peas and maize is two is to one. For any uh, for any amount that you're making, ensure that the green peas is twice the amount of maize. So we're just uh, done doing them. They've taken five minutes cooking, and so we will remove them and start to prepare our greens. So again, one teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of water very little water this is in order to retain the green color and this will help even to steam it so once it comes to a boil we'll add the veggies so here we go ensure it has boiled fast before adding the veggies so it did boil and we added the veggies start so just start frying it for a little while maybe two minutes until it is done so here you go and we are done and lastly we'll go to our potatoes it's a matter of just putting the potatoes adding water just about to cover them and now put your lid on and bring them to a boil you want them to boil to a point where they can be mashed easily without any extra effort as you can see here. They are very much mashable. So I was comfortable mashing with my wooden spoon. So I mashed until even the water evaporated. Um, you can use your masher by the way if you wish it's up to you there we go the water has evaporated completely now separately i'm sauteing my onions in a in a teaspoon of oil and then i'll add later some cumin and salt just to give taste to this so I've added my salt and my cumin powder. These are optional. You can just use salt. You can you can desire to keep it plain as much as possible. So you want to saute this until the onions are translucent and then you're good to go. And once this is done, take this and add to your potatoes together with the green peas and the maize and stir and mix we are looking for a consistency that is hard and dense. 
but not uh so hard like that of a uh, a dough yeah so now we've added our green pumpkin leaves you can enhance the color by maybe moringa powder or stinging nettle powder because they have deep green colors and this is how it came out i just shaped it using a cup um i am about to demolish it if you like it please give it a thumbs up remember to eat this to the glory and the honor of god if you're new to my channel please subscribe and share this video to other people so that they may be blessed as well let me know what you think concerning this recipe i'll be glad to hear from you have a blessed week bye